Let's talk how to run your household the organized way. Hi, I'm Marissa Roberts from beautifullyorganized.com. I had lots of jobs before I started working for myself, mostly in retail and hospitality. And while both industries were different, they had one thing in common. The day-to-day -day running of the business was very, very smooth because there were clear processes to follow. There was no winging it, no guesswork, it was easy. If you opened the shop in the morning, you followed the list of opening jobs. At closing times, you followed the closing jobs list. It was great because I never had to worry about remembering all of the things I had to do. At the restaurant, there were routines for greeting and serving customers, and we followed them step by step so that each table had a smooth experience that was consistent every time they visited us. Everything was covered. Drinks, starters, mains, desserts, coffee. No step was forgotten and any staff member could cover for another during breaks and we'd always know exactly what to do and where to pick up where the other person left off. Yeah, there were hiccups here and there when we started training new people or if someone called in sick and we had more than the usual workload to handle. But even then, all of us still knew what needed to be done and how to do it. So there was no hesitation in getting it done. I think the best part was that once we mastered it, the processes could almost be done on autopilot, which made it feel so much easier to do the job and then we could actually relax and have fun. So why don't we do that at home? Why are we all so organized at work, but winging it in our households? At home, we're trying to constantly catch up with everything. The cooking, the cleaning, the shopping, the washing, and we never feel like we're on top of it. But it feels like the only choice we have is to keep running on that hamster wheel, exhausted, but unable to stop. What if we looked at managing the household the way we run a business? Nothing too complicated, just adding a little more structure and clarity around when and how to do the non-negotiables. The things that keep the house running smoothly, like doing a load of laundry every day and having specific days for specific loads. Towels on a Monday, sheets on a Saturday, a day for each of the kids' clothes. Planning out dinners and posting the plan where everybody can see it. Following a cleaning roster setting up a step-by-step -step process for the weekly grocery shop that any family member can follow that covers the job from start to finish. Making the list, clearing out expired foods, rotating the foods that are left, wiping down fridge shelves, packing away groceries after they get to the house, assigning jobs to each family member or letting somebody choose what their role is. And a simple evening routine that includes a quick tidy up, a shower, and then some device free time before bed. All you really need to do to be able to run your home smoothly like a business is the time to set it up and a resource to make it easy like a house and family binder or even just a simple notebook. You can let go of trying to keep all of the household management stuff in your head and ditch a big chunk of the mental load. Write your processes down, have a family meeting once a week so that you can keep everybody on track with their assigned jobs. Don't forget to bring food to the meeting and enjoy a little more free time and a lot less stress. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So that their experience, hang on a second. Everything, mm, I've already done that bit. Oh, hi, I just wanted to let you know before you watch the next video, we have some really good resources that are totally free and we run regular workshops online so you can join me live if you want to. Check out the links below and hopefully I'll see you there soon.